so this is a, a business design document can you able to see my uh, screen sir yes yes yeah. just uh, click on hide option so uh, i have time for only uh, accounts payable so this one this is same as per the template only it is there so this is the index page i have done in index you just explain highly what all the things then you'll go in detail yeah yeah uh, so coming to uh, accounts payable just an overview of an accounts payable and the business requirement uh, uh, what this rajayat company is uh, uh, giving us the requirement and uh, to be process flow is also explained here and the steps uh, what are the steps uh, involved in the to be process flow is also there and uh, com- in accounts payable account process of uh, gr and ir process is explained and invoice uh, verification uh and uh the vendor payment local or uh, foreign payment that is also explained here and uh, with whole uh, taxes reports and integration points and this performance measures these are all already there sir but i didn't do anything in this one okay but here uh, you can also add on retention but retention uh, you know so when there is uh, as i explained in uh, during the mm uh, bdp review So retention is like when there is a project. So the subcontracting uh, services, you know, uh, the subcontracting when they are doing the project. Okay. What happens? So let's say there is a two years agreement or three years agreement. They have to perform the job in the project site. Okay. okay. So based on suppose let's say hundred one million, uh, you know the you know the contract value uh, they are saying to the particular subcontracting service provider. So what they do actually, uh, let's say every month, you know they are going to raise the payment certificate. So the p- project site would happen. There is a site engineer who is going to, uh, you know, uh, monitor the uh, services which the vendor is provided, and uh, he will create the, you know, whatever activities, you know, the, you know, maybe multiple sub activities will be there. So we call it as a service, uh, you know, activities. So he will confirm that. Okay. So he, let's say. Uh, you know the vendor will raise the invoice so he will create a payment certificate so this is not a sap standard actually so they will you know he will see uh, physically he will verify this and he will create a payment certificate so which includes uh, what all the you know services he is performed uh, how much percentage of the activity is completed like that so then this payment certificate will go for the approval process okay so okay. the payment certificate will go for the approval process let's say there is a you know cost control manager or project manager or ceo or md or chairman he will approve this right so once yes. this approved then finally what will happen uh, the service uh, activity service entry sheet will be created okay so based on the approval so the service entry sheet will be created so because uh, they will submit this uh, bill to vendor so uh, sorry uh, submit the bill to the customer who i mean actually you know the actual project is you know going to execute it as a customer right so this customer will say that okay uh, you know they will certify so what uh, either it is the rizayat is worked or whether you know on behalf of rizayat any third party vendor or service provider who perform the job so now finally the customer will review the payment certificate what uh, rizayat they are going to raise it right So yes. for that, the payment certificate internally. So first, all the management, uh, you know, team they are going to approve. So then they are submitting to the customer. So customer will again they will uh, review this. So suppose there is any changes, again they are going to, uh, let's say instead of uh, he is mentioning, let's say you know, uh, uh, let's say uh, some uh, square feet of work. Let's say there is a one kilometers, you know, there is a uh, trees. They are they want to cut the trees. So maybe they are saying that okay, only for 90 percent they have cut it, but they uh, raise it for 100 percent of you know activities completed. So then customer will say that no, no, not yet completed. Still there is a 10 percent of work is pending. So then they will uh, revisit. Then they will you know uh, modify right uh, the service whatever the uh, you know um, the payment certificate which the management they approved. Then again they are reapproval process, changing the value. So then they are submitting the actual you know payment certificate to the uh you know the customer uh, who is uh, the project owner right so finally so for this purpose what happened so every uh, let's say every month there is a percentage of work you know we are uh, releasing the amount to the subcontractor so when in purchase order level we'll mention that there is a retention percentage okay so for like a, how the advance payment uh, per percentage we are giving right 10 percentage of down payment same way there is a retention 5 percentage 10 percentage has to be specified in the po and this retention <coughs> during the invoice that has to be 
uh, posted to the respective GL account. Okay, so the five percentage of the retention will be captured. So maybe end of the project, so this cost will be released to the subcontractor. Okay. Right? So just include these points, whatever I explain here. So just okay. you can able to whatever you understand. So just uh, write down, uh, you know, as a retention point of view, what is the retention? So what purpose we are going to use it? What is the percentage of retention? How this retention is going to be calculated? What is the accounting entry? So these are all information you can get it. So just you can able to update in your BB. Okay, where we have to do that, sir? In the integration points or okay. a, like the, something like that? So, we have in PO level. So you just you know end of the day you need where they are mentioning this retention, right? In purchase order level, uh, you know you have to mention okay the retention will be uh, maintained in the purchase order. Uh, let's say five percentage, and during the invoice verification, uh, this uh, retention percentage will be uh, posted into the respective GL account, right? So, yeah. so what I'm suggesting, so this process you can check it also side by side. So along with the MM and uh, FI, so you just uh, pick it uh, who is available. So just to execute this process and test in our system or server system in our server. So then okay. you have a like a more clarity. So how this retention works? What is the basic configuration to be done from your FI side? So your mom said I don't think so. Any configuration? This is standard behavior where we need to specify this. You know, down payment processing, advance payment processing. How they maintain? Same way, header and item level, we can maintain this uh, retention percentage. So finally, we are raising the invoice for that the GL has to be configured. So based on that, the retention will be posted. Okay. Sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, in this, uh, these are all the same. Uh, I had not touched anything here, sir. Only the this uh, these uh, process I have done here. Okay. So that's it coming here, and the basic account payable. What is the account payable here? I have explained here, sir. And the business requirement. I have taken this uh, from the uh, our uh, scope document, Rajayatu scope document. So. Uh, should I uh, explain this, sir? So high level, high level explain solution. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just uh, what is the uh, business requirement of uh, accounts payable for uh, Rijat company? Uh, that one we have explained here. And the process uh, in accounts payable, uh, the company wants is a accounting process for GRIR, uh, payments to local uh, or a foreign okay. suppliers, advance payments to local or a foreign uh, suppliers. Uh, treatment of invoice the quality and uh, prices uh, variances recognition of forex gain or a loss on sale or purchase valuation of customers and vendors balances information of intercompany receivables and payables tax codes on sales and purchase and to be process flow this is for the procurement of material and vendor flow uh, payment flow i mean this is related to mm only the material will come uh, so uh, to be process four steps so, first here it explain the flow diagram now. so what how the flow diagram increase the size able to see that sir yes. Yes, yes. yeah so here uh, actually uh, this is a material for uh, local purchase uh, so uh, here the supply chain uh, here the vendor starts sir actually so vendor uh, purchasing officer See, this is the complete process, right? So, we, as a FICO consultant, we should know how the procurement works, how the PR they are creating. So, that is what I am telling you guys has to be executed on complete end to end cycle, then you will understand the process. Right? Yes. So, how the uh, let's say supply chain planner is there, right? So, supply chain planner, what they do? So they will, uh, yeah, one second. Okay, so here, uh, yeah, so here uh, the supply chain planner. So what is the role, supply chain planner? Okay. To create so the purchase requisition. Yeah, so just tell, okay, the, they are raising the purchase requisition. Purchase requisition. Yeah. yeah. So after uh, creating the purchase requisition, if any modification or a change is there, they will do that. And uh, if required, uh, if uh, uh, what uh, like it is not approved, then it, uh, that will be cancelled. 
so again uh, it will go to the uh, workflow for an approval status for cross functional approvers uh, if it is approved then uh, it will convert into the purchase order and uh, if it is converted into purchase order then create the down payment yeah, request explain the role so main thing the role is more more important so as a consultant so when you are talking about the process the role is more important so they specify like a purchasing officer right so what is a purchasing officer what they do so their responsibility they are raising the purchase order right so they will source the vendor and they are going to uh, procure the material from the respective vendor so here the same way like sub this we once the po is created then it will go for the approval process once it's approved then it will you know send the soft copy of the po to the vendor the vendor will deliver the material so even though this process is completely a mum but still you know as a fico point of view we should know that because we, see, that is what the integration right so when you are you know if you are clear about the process then you can talk about all the process like how the subcontracting process works how the stock transfer process works so because these are all the process are integrations so wherever the integration is there definitely they will screw you the questions will arise during the interview right so tell me about the subcontracting process what you implemented what you configured in your implementation project so then you should know in the purchase order of the subcontracting process there is account assignment category you know and then there is item category item category will be l for subcontracting process so when you are executing the process when the you know you have to execute the process i don't want you to configure but at least how the pr is created how the po is created how the you know um, approval is happening so finally how they are going to send the material subcontracting material you know the raw material to the vendor how they are receiving the semi you know final product from the vendor so after that how you are going to raise the see invoice is coming at last but still this process you should talk so how it works so that is what all the p2p process all the o2c process right so you should be as a fico point of view you guys should talk more so i understood yes uh, maybe, uh, we don't have that uh, you know uh, hands on experience in the you know uh, procurement point of view but uh, just to get 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 from them so just at least one of the process how it works just show in mm so like that you know get help from you know some mm uh, team then you just execute on process then you will have a confidence then you can explain see when accounts payable comes it's a purely mm right uh, mm and fi so you yes, should familiarize to explain how the flow works you know who is raising the pr who is approving the pr who is raising the po who is approving the po then who is receiving the material so after that how the invoice who is creating invoice you know but prior to work also you should know that yes sir yeah go okay. ahead Uh, so purchasing officer will uh, create the purchase order and uh, then the uh, uh, purchase uh, uh, i mean down payment request will be generated and uh, uh, if it is uh, uh, approved then it will be uh, notified the for, by the cross functional approvals for the po indication so uh, if it is uh, correct then the po will be released if uh, uh, the po and that also will be approved then it will go to the vendor for the po uh, i mean vendor will receive the purchase order and purchase order will be confirmed by the uh, vendor uh, so uh, and inbound delivery uh, reference to the purchase order will be created and uh, from that uh, the interface i mean like uh, warehouse warehouse team will be taking care of the uh, posting i mean goods uh, uh, disbursement i mean like goods uh, this one. goods receipt and uh, auto ports goods receipt will inbound delivery based on the warehouse confirmation from there the gr accounting uh, document uh, will be done like debit and credit gr ir account uh, uh, then the finance account uh, ap will be done uh, i mean like reviewing the uh, fiscal document and the invoice verification process will be done by the ap team okay so here yeah so so yeah i understood uh, you know uh, you need some little practices is required in the process so and what what i'm suggesting you so whatever the flow diagram so you try to uh, you know make it this flow diagram your own flow diagram Okay. If you have a time, so just if you have one flow diagram completely, if you design, then you will have more confidence about the process. Okay. Okay. So because yes, here the MM involving, uh, but I don't want to make it PR creation approval also. Just put it, you know, PO creation approval, or we can say approved PO. 
Right. Okay. So put a purchase. I mean, uh, purchase manager is the first role. Okay, there is a approved, you know, uh, approved PO. So then, you know, you can put it like a, you know, GRN also. Uh, put it like a GRN process. So then, you know, you are going to make a, you know, invoice process. Who is going to create the invoice and who is approving the invoice? So like that, you can make it uh, the flow diagram like that. So I don't want the PR PO should be here. But make okay. it approved PO as the, you know, starting process. From that, how, you know, uh, GRN process. Then there is an invoice process, then accountant and account manager. So these roles under you can include in the uh, flow diagrams. Okay. Okay. So uh, that's fine. So maybe you can show the rest of the process in the next sessions. So okay. I think, uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, thank you. Okay, sir.